Should split up to look for Dio. Will do. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Uh, Cloud? You got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh-huh. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, I. but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. stayed as welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm, he doesn't he look quite right. Hmm. Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order, my ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family! Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo Land! Let's sit out! Training hard and getting those days. What's up, party people? What's up? Hey. It's a challenge from the dark! Sign and go! Give the people what they want! Take it in a piece! But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was, lamenting my lot in life, when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone, right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great! I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then.
part of the main event at the Coliseum tomorrow. You'd better rest up before your big day. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you'll knock him dead. <laughs> Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because she'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? 
His hair was long and gray. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on them while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her, please. I won't. I thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I've found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's got to be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. Take care, Biggs. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira! Those off? No. Those pillow marks say different. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You got me. <laughs> anyway, want to broaden your artistic horizons? Loveless is playing here. And I got us tickets. Sure. After that, we could ride the Skywheel. Right. We missed out on that before. Yeah, but not this time. Let's go. Let's go! 
Attention, our special showing of Loveless 3 edition will begin shortly. All ticket holders, please make your way to the theater. Are you here to see Loveless? Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? Her look more beautiful. Yeah, she's a real star.
Behold, a mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Gaia. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The quarrel with the conquest swept up many, including him. Calvary was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. to proceed. These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Fear not, Alfred. I've come for you. Rosa, how did you find me? I sensed you were in trouble. Twas the will of the goddess, perhaps. Before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver. <laughs> Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon drone!
show. Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then. Ha! Hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future, if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet... All tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. Enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is indeed such sweet sorrow, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. My love. Alfred. Ah! Face the charade! Love is not what it eludes! Goddess above, let my blade strike true!
bereft of wings and broken. I consign you to the abyss. Thank you, Alfred, for saving our world and everyone in it. You are a true hero. <laughs> what awaits you at Journey's End, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh, puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break, and you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here.
Thank you for joining the dazzling night sky. One day, I'll be singing on that stage. I repeat, who was that singer? For tonight's performance, and so where would you like to go, Kubo? Hold on, dear, Kubo. Friend or partner, and embark on our wondrous trip through the sights and sounds of the gold saucer. Watch the adventure unfold. Are you ready to rise? Each moment more breathtaking than the last. You ready for this? A gondola's here! Well, after you... You first. Uh, Cloud? Think we can steer with this? Worth a try. <laughs> Here goes. Save. <laughs> hey, over there! See that? <laughs> Being a jockey looks so fun. That's definitely not what the races are like. I guess I'll just have to see for myself. They were friends five years ago. What? Not yet. Right. Touchy subject, huh? She must still have feelings for Zack. I think it's a little more complicated than that. It's kind of weird us being here like this, isn't it? Is it? I mean, I guess it is. Kind of. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey, ever since we were kids even, I can't remember a time like this. A time when we were this close. Or am I getting ahead of myself again? Again? Yeah. Again. Not one 
bit. We should probably head back to our rooms. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> 